All right, welcome back to season four of our show. Today, we're deep frying. We're kicking up the deep fryer with some beautiful southern deep fried bacon gravy burgers. Let's show you how to get it done. All right, so it's deep fried burgers. Now, for you guys that never had a deep fried burger, you're in for a treat. So we got 72% lean meat right here. That's what you want, 72% lean on that fry because it's gonna take all that grease out of there. We got some onions, bell pepper, so we're just gonna get those in. I chopped them down into somewhat little pieces. Make it yours, make them as big or as little as you want. And the amounts, they're completely up to you. Right here I've got five pounds of meat and I'm just making a couple of burgers just for tonight just to show you how to do this. We're gonna just mix it up a little bit. And what I'll do from here is I'm gonna season with a little rub. Garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, touch of sage, and that's it. So let's get that rub in there. I'm gonna move this around. I'm gonna get just a little bit more in there, but we don't want too much flavor in here. We just wanna touch in the middle. And then we're gonna season again on the outside. And that's what we're looking to do. So we're making a beautiful gravy for these burgers to go into. And then we're having them on a brioche bun. And we've got some surprises coming to the end for you, how to finish these things off. So that's how you want to do that. I know you guys say deep fry burgers. We're in the South. We'll fry anything. Let's get that one made up. Now that's how you want to do that. And you're going to make them about the size of a good hockey puck. Now all the veggies in there are going to keep these nice and moist. That's what you want because we're going in with high heat. Now the nice part about deep frying is when you get a beautiful crust on these guys, I mean nothing beats this. You can do them in the pan, it's going to take you a little bit longer, that comes out great too, but this is a deep fryer, I mean the whole thing is submerged. All right, so we're gonna get these made up and then we're gonna meet you right back here, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, so we got all of our burgers together and now it's time to season. So we're going on with just a little salt, diamond crystal, kosher salt. So just get that on there, as much or as little as you guys like. Just make it yours. Now with burgers, I like a good amount of salt on these. There's no salt in the middle. We're just salt on the outside. Well, all right, here's our rub, the same rub that we used in the middle. It's going on the outside. Don't skimp on the rub. And just over and repeat. So we're gonna get these seasoned up and we're gonna meet you guys right back here. Don't go anywhere. All right, burgers are chilling out in the fridge. Our deep fryer is heating up at 375 right now. Let's show you how to get the gravy going. All right, for the gravy, you're gonna need some all-purpose flour. This is just a, like four cups. I didn't even measure this out. I got some chicken stock here mixed with water, so it's 50-50. I made this myself, so there's zero sodium in here. And I got some yellow onion, bacon. This is gonna be the star of the show. So let's just cut up some bacon. These are the strips I cut it up in. So you guys can cut it any way you want, but I leave it there in strips like that. Cause I want to be able to see my bacon and taste my bacon. So just like that. Now you guys can use any type of bacon you want. You can even use ham if you don't have any bacon. You could use just regular store-bought ham. That's it, onto the stove we go. All right, so we got our bacon and our onions on. Now I put a little olive oil in the bottom here just to start this off. We're gonna render this down. We're gonna bring out all the grease and all the fat out of here. We're gonna take the bacon out before it gets too well done. And then we're gonna start our gravy. We'll meet you right back here. Don't go anywhere. All right, so our bacon is rendered down. Now we didn't render it down to nothing. We just rendered it down to the point where it's gonna to start to get crispy, and that's what you want. So you don't wanna take this all the way down. 
because you're going to burn it and it's just not going to taste good in the gravy. So let's just get this out of here. And you see all that oil? That's what you want. Don't worry about the onions because you can leave the onions in there. But all that grease that came out of this bacon, that's going to make our gravy. And that's what you're looking for. Put that little piece of bacon in there. You don't have to get all the bits out, but just get most of them out. Let's put this off to the side. Now we're going to start to get in our flour. So I'm going to get a couple of spoonfuls of flour in here. We're just going to make a roux. We're just going to cook that flour. And that's what you want. We're going to cook it. Let's get some more in here. See, I'm not measuring anything. Just feel it out. As long as you got the oil in there, you can make your roux. Now, if you look at the bottom of that pan, it's black. That's just from all the bits on the bottom of that. So what we'll do from here is we're going to deglaze that with just a little white wine. Just a little bit. Now that we got that in there, so I'll add a little stock in here. And we'll just keep working this till it comes together. And get all those bits up from the bottom. Then we're gonna meet you back here, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, so our gravy's starting to tighten up now. I just threw the whisk on it. And when this gets nice and tight, you gotta take your bacon and add it back to that gravy. Cause that's where your flavor's at. And then we're gonna get those burgers stuck. But it's coming together. To cook the flour out of this will probably take about 10 minutes. That's about it. And just taste as you go along. You can salt and pepper it. But with all this bacon, it's got hickory bacon in here. You're not gonna need anything. Just keep working it. Just like that. All right. We'll meet you right back here when we put the bacon in, so don't go anywhere. All right, so our gravy is off the heat. Now take a look at that. That's how you want that, that consistency right there. Here's our bacon, right in with it. I know, doesn't that look good? Wait till you see how we plate this. All right, that's it. And there you have it, our bacon gravy is done. Time to fry up these burgers. All right, let's get these burgers in. Now I'm going in with four burgers. I'm gonna drop them real easy. I'm gonna put them in halfway like that and get my blower on. Get them started. I'm going to slowly lower them down as they cook into that grease. I don't want them falling apart if I just drop them. So very slow. Until they are completely submerged. And then you want to watch your bubbles so it doesn't come up and over the top. That's it. We're going to let these go for about six minutes. There's no need to flip them or anything. Just let them go. Medium rare. Six minutes, seven minutes. And that's it. Be right back here. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, we're about five minutes in this cook and I just want to show you these guys. I'm bringing them up easy. And they're looking right. Beautiful, right? Now I'm looking for any blood running out of them. I want them a little bit more crispy so I can see a little blood coming out of them now. And I got some well done prints coming over and I'm just gonna drop them again. But mine, they're not gonna be like that. Mine are gonna be a little bit more red. We'll meet you back here, stick around. Don't fall anywhere. All right, time to pull these. Eight minutes in. Take a look at those guys. 
Now I'm gonna let these drain a little bit and then I'm gonna take them out of here, put them into a pan and I'm gonna show you what else to do with them. Don't go anywhere. All right, so we got our burgers out of the deep fryer. Cast iron pan is what you're gonna need next. Now I'm going on mine with a little provolone cheese. You can put whatever you like. I'm just gonna separate these guys and make sure we have room. And just like that. All right, we're gonna meet you guys outside. Don't go anywhere. Time to get these guys. <laughs> That's it. We'll meet you guys inside. Don't go anywhere. All right, here we are. Season four is chopping block. A very special burger. Let's show you what we got. Look at those guys. I know you saw them before, but you're looking at them inside. All right, so the first thing we'll do, this pan is quite hot. I'm gonna get this off to the side. And we're gonna show you how we plate this up. Now we made a beautiful potato salad. And the first thing I'll do is get some potato salad onto the plate or in a small bowl. We're going to leave a link in the description to this potato salad. If you guys saw one of the last videos, it had this one in here. So we'll show you the recipe to this one. We'll leave a link in the description to that video so you can see this beautiful potato salad being done. And we're just going to park pepperoncini right on the top of there. Nothing too fancy or special, but I do like my pepperoncinis. All right, let's get this burger onto the plate. So we got that there, and let's go on with a burger. Brioche bun. Now I could have fired up that bun too. I didn't do it. Let's get a burger on there. Beautiful. Now in my house, this is a very special burger. And we call this one the Whammy Burger. You know. All right, let's get some gravy on there. Look at that. That's it. Now we're gonna throw a little scallion on the top of here. Just like that. Now what I'll usually do is I'll put a little gravy on the side here. That's just for a little dipping. Let's park the hood. And look at that one. Beautiful. Let's get a bite of this. That is one truly amazing burger. I mean, deep fry burger, you're not gonna get much better than this with gravy. How do you go wrong with gravy? Let's try the potato salad. That's a beautiful Southern combination right there. Potato salad, the gravy, the deep fry. I mean, just spectacular. All right, we're gonna get situated and we're gonna meet you guys right back here. So stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, and there it is. One deep fried special burger with provolone. We serve that on a brioche bun, accompanied by some wonderful gravy and an outstanding potato salad. Like I said, we're going to leave the link to that salad being made in the description. This way you get to see that. Thank you. We enjoyed your comment. And like always, with no further ado, got to get that pet master taste there.